the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Boo! Oh. <laughs> hey, Bill! <laughs> hey, let me ask y'all something. Yeah? Y'all wouldn't happen to have a Bill Dance, six, Bill Dance Edition, six and a half foot quantum spinning rod. Don't have to, they're right over there. Crappie, right something, there. For, something for crappie. Right there. All right, you want to sell two of them? Yeah, anytime. Yeah, I said sell two of them. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Okay. <laughs> well, you've got them displayed. Of course, you got your bigger rods, your medium, medium heavies for bass fishing, or for heavier spinning. Of course, these little ultralights are ideal for a bluegill, and then you got that in five foot, and you got a five and a half foot, then you're out of the six. Right, but but, I got the six six here, it'd be perfect. Oh, now this is an ideal action. This is what I want, because I'm making longer casts. It'd be perfect. So, this in a two-piece rod is perfect for what I need. Bill, what is it that you like about that rod in that reel? All right, what I like about all these rods they're made, this particular one, just like all of them, they're made of IM6 graphite for lightweight and sensitivity. And they come with D-ring guides and an EVA comfortable handle. This rod and all of them, they have a real sweet action. Now, when it comes to the reel, it has continuous anti-reverse, an easy to get to front spool drag, and an aluminum spool that allows your line to flow off for longer and smoother casts. This makes for a perfect crappie rod. I mean, ideal. If you want to make casts, if you're using, a, say, a bubble, a float, a cork, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can load this rod and make a long cast. If you're using an inline spinner, a little elbow spinner, or just a plain jig and making long cast, this is a rod you want in a six and a half footer. But it's extremely light. The rod is, is, is well balanced. Uh, it balances out just perfect. That's nice. It's a nice outfit. I tell you what I'm gonna do. You got two of them. Was that a quick sale? Quick Did I sell myself? <laughs> Did I sell you? Get you a couple of them. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Amy. All right. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate you. Call him a crappie, a speck, a white perch, a sockelay, or crappie. He's a special little fish that millions of Americans love to fish for. And I think there are two key reasons why. One, they're delicious to eat. And two, there's so many enjoyable ways to catch them. Now today, we're gonna to mention four highly productive techniques to catch bunches of these great fish. Now they are catching suspended crappie in thick cover, vertical jigging, slip floating techniques, and finally, casting using the countdown method. Hey, and we're also gonna be talking about jigs, sizes, colors, and a whole lot more. Take a look at this very effective method. And that's catching suspended crappie in thick cover on light gear with a jig and elbow spinner. This little rig is tailor-made for situations like this. It's a Bass Pro Shop number three silver jig spinner and eighth ounce Bass Pro Shop jig and a Bass Pro Shop baby shad in the color ice out that we spiced it with. The purpose of the elbow spinner is that it makes the bait more wigless in heavy cover areas, allowing you to work a little slower, both on the retrieve and the fall, and it creates additional flash. Yes. Good fish there. Look, here we go.
Här. Bill Dance Outdoors. Sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. It's important to use the lightest weight jig possible when casting. A 16th ounce works much better than an 8th ounce, and an 8th ounce works better than a quarter ounce. Lighter jigs allow for a more natural presentation and allows the jig to be worked above the fish. Now heavier jigs fall faster, making them much more difficult to control, and the depth and the speed control are extremely important. Now, crappie prefer to feed above themselves rather than to the side or below, as they'll see an offering falling slower from above so much better. However, there are times when you'll need a heavier jig, especially if it's windy or when you're fishing real deep. Whoa. Strong. How thick that one is. You know, it's important to remember to catch suspended crappie, you got to stay constantly aware of the depth that you found them in, the depth at which your jig is swimming or falling, and the speed of your presentation. Moving along, let's discuss another popular technique. And that technique I call long poling. All right, it's a known fact that when cover's present at a depth the crappie are using, they're drawn to it like a magnet, regardless if they're shallow or deep. Or even when they're suspended out deep, you can bet that some form of cover is not far away, just like they are right now. Long poling is a very successful method for catching numbers of fish when they move in tight to thick cover. Like I said, the shallower the cover, the more effective long poling is, especially in stained off colored water. Now when crappie are relating to thick cover, I'm totally convinced you'll catch far more fish by vertical fishing than you would ever catch by casting with ultralight gear. Now why? Well, first of all, you can cover a wider depth range. Second, you'll be able to keep your offering in one spot for a longer period. Third, you'll be able to make the correct presentation every time. Fourth, if the fish are super inactive and move deep into the cover as a result of a weather change, you'll be in a much better position to tease them into hitting. And fifth, if the terrain is loaded with submerged cover, you'll likely won't be able to cast to them. No doubt about it, you'll do a whole lot better fishing areas with cover vertically. And it's really a fun way to fish. Here again, remember to use the lightest weight jig you can. 
A sixteenth ounce size works well, and you'll find that by fishing your jig a shade shallower than the fish are, you'll do a whole lot better because, as we mentioned earlier, crappie prefer to feed up rather than down, below, or to the side. Today's show is brought to you by Quantum Rods and Reels, Quantum Performance Tuned, Pure Marine Odor Eliminator, eliminates foul fish odors from gear, compartments, and empty live wells, and tracker boats, fish the finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Ego Fishing and their all new S2 slider landing nets with the most advanced handle extension technology. Take the battle to the water with Ego. Today's show is sponsored by Monster Marine Lithium. Lighter, stronger, longer. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. We have an action for you. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. There he is. Bashed it. Cold fish. It's at water temperature, 48 degrees. Okay, let's talk about a subject I hear about all the time. How important are jig colors? Well, tremendously important. Crappie have excellent eyesight and can definitely see color and even distinguish shades of the same color. But even then, as good as they can see, there are times during the day when certain colors become camouflaged. And there's good reasons for this. The sun governs the shape, size, and color of anything underwater, meaning at certain light levels, some colors become practically invisible. And this is why these two-tone bodies work so well in all water clarities and depths there's nearly always going to be at least one or more visible colors these sight feeding fish can see. Come on in here, boy. All right, here we come up. Curly them all up. Boom. Okay, this crappie method we're going to cover next is really fun, and it's a system I use to catch not only active fish, but it also works great when fish are in a negative mood. Some folks call it slip corking, and it works wonders in shallow, clear water. Now, slip corking, what it does, it allows you to stay at a safe distance from the fish, yet it allows you to fish tight to cover or just over the top of it and your jig swims as you retrieve it. Now what's going on here, when you stop your retrieve, the jig swings back under your float. Oftentimes, the strike will occur as the jig swings back, and other times it can happen as you jig it vertically under the float. With this outfit, what you can do, you can cover lots of water and six different depth levels quickly. Like I said, this is a fun and exciting way to catch shallow water crappie. Now the key to catching fish is establish a depth pattern, and the crappie are certainly the type of fish that select and use certain depths for many reasons. Once you establish that pattern, you'll be able to constantly place your bait at the correct level, cast after cast, and keep it there for as long as you want. Now what this does, it entices more strikes than any other way I know of. You can keep it at that exact depth and literally tease inactive fish into biting. Let's take a look at the main feature of this rig, and that's the float. They're quite unique. They're lightweight and they're very visible, and fish don't feel any resistance when trying to pull them under. And finally, they've got a real bright chartreuse top. So, 
you can see any real light bikes so much easier. Let me tell you, those are some neat little floats. Now, let's look at how they work. As you can see, the bopper stop is nothing more than a small rubber insert that's larger in diameter than the monofilament. And what it does, it slides very tight around the line where it won't slip up and down unless you're forcing it. And it keeps the jig at a constant depth. Now, when the cast is made, what, the, what happens here, the cork slides down against the jig. Here, all the weight is close together, and this is good for casting control and accuracy. Once the rig hits the water, the float will slide back to the bobber stop and stop as the jig swings back to the set depth. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week, brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have the action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. How important is boating safety? There's a boatload of truth to the saying. There's no such thing as being too safe. Boating safety is paramount, but since we anglers are in and out of them so much, we may get a little lax and take safety precautions for granted. Now that's dangerous. Visit the U.S. Coast Guard website for safety tips. Always keep safety in mind, as well as the safety of those who share the water. Today's show was sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Garmin Force Trolling Motors, fish with force. Closed caption provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Shark Plotter Sonar Combos, with their advanced sonar technology, like Panoptic's Live Scope All Seeing Sonar. You'll spend less time finding your fish. Anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallow water? Check out the PowerPole Heavy Duty Spike. The spike helps hold small boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of a bass boat that has power poles. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips to help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to stay steady in one spot? Spike that spot. You can fish there as long as you wish. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Oh, buddy. Right there, pulling good. Cut it up. All right. Ouch. Got the color to it, isn't he? Thick one. Okay. Okay, tell you what let's do. Let's discuss the countdown method. When crappie are suspended, fishing can be extremely tough, but you can usually catch them if you get your jig down to their depth level and swim it. Of course, to catch them, you must first find them, and this is best accomplished with a good sensitive grab. Put it to use by looking for suspended crappie close to some form of cover. When you've established the depth the fish are using, cast out beyond the school. The instant the lure hits the water, retrieve any slack that's created, keeping the rod tip up in front of you and start counting, 1,001, 1,002, and so on. When you reach 10, your lure should be around the 10-foot depth. Like I said, to catch suspended crappie, you have to stay constantly aware of the depth that you found them in, the depth at which your jig is falling, swimming, and the speed of your jig. Today we're using one of Bass Pro's elbow spinners, rigged with an eighth ounce jig. This eighth ounce size is ideal, and the jig body is called Baby Shad. The color is called Ice Out. 
This two-tone body and elbow spinner is ideal for flash and vibration. As you can see, it's working great. Wow. Bang! Where are you, boy? All right, come up here. Whoa. I'm getting you dizzy. There's a old black one. Boy, that's a lot of fun. And it's something you can do. All you gotta do is get you a little lightweight rod and reel, like what we're using today. Get you a pile of these little jigs and elbow spinners and head to the water. Well, there you have it. You know, there's just really no way to cover everything in this short period of time. But we do hope the four techniques that we've discussed will make you want to give one of them a try, or all of them a try, as far as that goes, when time permits. There's no doubt about it, crappie are a fish of all seasons, and they can be caught lots of different places and lots of different ways. Until next time, you catch one for me. Sure hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time. See ya. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.